Hello you guys and welcome to part whatever, I don't know, of the platformer tutorial series. Um, in this part and the following parts we are going to create a turret for our game. So I am just quickly going to show you an example of what we are going to do. So we are in our game and when I jump over here you can see we have our turret here and as you just saw it woke up and it looks around but it, we haven't come into its uh, radius yet it, its attack radius so when when we get into its attack radius it'll attack us so there you go and we are getting wrecked um, so let's go up as well and we get shot and it shoots after us and we can jump over him and as you can see it tries to shoot but it can't and we die and let me just quit and let's get started so the first thing we are going to do is create our sprite and game object so you can download the file in the description um, it was one I, I just made and um, I'll actually upload a speed painting of it so yeah so drag it into your graphics folder and you can see we have it and you know drill we have to set the sprite mode to multiple because we have multiple sprites pixels per unit to 18 because you know it has to be the same as everything else format true color and apply then let's go into sprite editor and then we're going to slice and we ain't going to drag on every single sprite we are too lazy for that so we are going to say slice and grid and the pixel size should be x uh, 16 and for the y 20 because that's the size of every uh, single sprite and the offset should be 1 because there's one padding in the top in the top and uh, padding 1 slice and there we go we have our sprites awesome so uh, <laughs> let me just uh, uh, reduce this size here this is our bullet actually so I'm um, just going to name this bullet there we go and then click apply everything looks all right so close it down and now we are going to create our animations so um let's drag a sprite in here and let's take the first one which is just a black stripe and let's set the order layer minus one so it is behind it it gives a nice effect uh, so it looks like the turret is coming up on from under the ground and then we are going to what are we going to do now well um we are going to create a new animation so uh, to open the animation window click animation a window animation and then click on the red button to create a new animation and uh, I forgot to delete those but never mind Let's create a new folder under the animations and I will call this turret underscore wake up so this is pretty self explanatory what this animation is going to be it is going to be when the turret should be waked up so we are going to drag um, let's actually see um, which sprites we should use so comes up here it looks to the left and right and then into the middle so from 29 to 0 we're going to drag those in and as you can see it goes really fast now but the animation is there so let's set the sample to 30 so it's only 
30 frames per second, I guess. Um, so yeah. It looks a little bit nicer now. Um, let's just uh, make some spacing between the look to the left and right. So it doesn't do it so fast. So what are we going to do? Uh, let's take and move those over. <laughs> and let's move these over. And let's move these over. Let's play it. Yeah, that looks all right to me. So that is for our wake up animation. Um, now we are going to create, what are we going to create now? We are going to create our fall asleep animation. So when it goes down again, so animation turret, ah, turret underscore fall asleep. There we go. And we are just going to take um, let's take this 14 to 0 and then we uh, we need to invert it so we're going to do that manually so move it over and switch the whole thing up oops just like that takes a long time I should speed this up actually. Never mind. Let's set the sample rate to 30. So it isn't so fast. That looks alright to me. Just save it. Um, so now we have our wake up and fall asleep. Now we need our turret uh, look to the right. So the eye is to the right. So let's create that. You're gonna need a whole lot of animations. Ah, all right. Turret underscore look right. There we go. And the thing we need for that is 26. Let's just use this. Yeah, it looks right. Create a new one. Turret underscore look left. And obviously, it looks to the left, right? Noise. And now we need, what do we need now? We need, we, oh my God. <laughs> we need uh, an animation where the, uh, where it is asleep constantly. So for that, we're going to use, what am I doing? Oh, we're going to say turret. Underscore sleep. There we go. And the thing we are going to use is this one. The just black bar. Nice. And now we are going to do the transitions from when it looks to the left and to the right. So it looks a little bit smoother when we use it in the game. So create a new clip. And we're going to call this turret underscore transition and from left to right. So the things we need for that is what do we need? Hmm, let me see. So yeah, you can see we have the left to right here. So that is from 31 to 35. Yeah, 35. 31 to 35. Let's just put those in. So just click and shift sample maybe to 10. No, that's too slow. 20. Say. 16. That's fine.